Uh, good evening, viewers. Happy holidays. <laughs> good evening, Mr. Scott. Now, Mr. Scott, if I was to come to you and say that I had a month's holiday... Yes, sir. ...and only seven pounds to spend, could you tell me where to go? <laughs> Yes, sir, I could, but I would not be so rude, sir. Oh. Instead, I would advise you to take our 28 days of sea on sun on the French Riviera, sir. The French Riviera? On the Riviera, yes. But I've only got seven pounds, remember. I understand, sir. You work for Thames Television, don't you? That's right. Yes. yes. You get a lot of them in here. Mr. Scott, you know, it's amazing how you manage to keep your prices so it low. Is, yes. How do you do it? By keeping our overheads down and our undercarriage up, sir. <laughs> oh, I would fly, would I? We have our own aeroplane, sir. Do you really? Yeah, outside, sir. Yes, yes. it's a good one. Yes. It's the next Air Force plane, sir. Oh, it was used during the war. Uh, yes, yes, it, but as soon as the war was over, I got it and they all worked on it. So, you, yes. you got in there before anyone else? Oh, within two days of the Kaiser signing the armistice, I had it. <laughs> oh, my, you see, it's, it's a first World War plane, a, 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 a biplane. At the moment, yes, sir. <laughs> if we get a stiff breeze during the night, it'll be a monoplane in the morning. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Now, now, um, tell me, Mr. Scuttle, yes, um, what kind of people go on these tours of yours? Adventurous types, I would say, sir. Yes. yes, sir. You know, I mean, one second, sir, I mean, they're on the ground, sir, and, and then they hear the cry, contract, turn her over, fags out, chocks away. No, no they don't mind the sweets, sir. It's only the fags. <laughs> And then they're up in the air with the wind whistling round their fuselage, sir. <laughs> bobbing about like a puff of wind in a colander there. <laughs> And, 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 where, and where do you land? I aim the plane at a place called Polcare, sir. Uh, Polcare? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We, uh, once or twice we've actually landed there, sir. At the airport? Uh, not necessarily, sir. <laughs> uh, usually we land on the municipal tennis court, sir. The tennis yes, court? Sir. How do you land in such a short space? They leave the net up. <laughs> Um, Mr. Scuttle, yes. do you run this holiday business of yours entirely on your own? No, sir. I have Miss Goose Ends. <laughs> yeah, I do, sir. She is your secretary? Well, you might say. Yeah, I suppose so, yeah. Like as well. Like as well as what? As well as being our air hostess, you see. Oh, she uh, straps them in. There's no need to do that, sir. Not while we're attackers, sir. Not at all, <laughs> oh. now, now, what amenities yes. are there for the holidaymakers when they arrive? Well, there's everything, sir. There, there, there's fishing or tennis. Fishing and tennis? No, fishing or tennis, sir. We use the same <laughs> net, you see. <laughs> Then, of course, there's Monsieur Alphonse, always on hand, so he yes. looks after them, sir, runs the excursion coach, yes. everything he does. How yes. old is he? He's 97, sir. He <laughs> looks after them, sir. He gets the gratuities. In the cold weather, <laughs> yes. <he does. laughs> and he takes them around in the coach, they take yes. him to Montelimar, sir. Oh, yeah. They stop at Madame Paulette's there. <laughs> <laughs> For a bit of nougat. No, it's only a cafe, sir. <laughs> As far as I no, know, no, sir. No, no, you, you misunderstood me, what, Mr. Scuttle. I mean, they go there to sample the local sweetmeats. What they do when they're off the coach is no concern. <laughs> it doesn't come under my jurisprudence anything whatsoever. <laughs> Don't them know, sir. No, they have what is known as the gâteau de jour. Sir. And what is that? Whatever happens to be on the pastry shelf at the time. <laughs> <sir>. <laughs> Mr. Scuttle, which would you say is your best bargain in holiday tours? I would say, sir, our Eastern Promise tour, sir. Eastern Promise? Yes, sir. I have discovered that by utilising the services of a fleet of ex-army surplus Dutch bull barges... Yes. <laughs> ...third-class night economy trans-Siberian cattle trucks... Yes. ...and a fleet of swift-moving, love-starved Bessarabian dromedaries, <laughs> I can get a passenger into Outer Mongolia for four pounds ten, sir. <laughs> How about that? And do they enjoy it? 
I don't know them. We've never had one come back. <laughs> I suppose they must enjoy it. You'll be down for your trip. You're looking a bit peaky. You're looking a bit peaky.